Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures with David. Now we are back on Route 66 for our final tour home. That is right, we are gonna be taking you guys on exploration of Route 66 historic towns, landmarks, and just fun places. Now, we are here at Seligman, Arizona for our first stop. So we're gonna have some fun and bring you guys along with me. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. It's time to get your kicks on Route 66. Let's go. So awesome from a railroad town to a historic Route 66 town. There is so much to see in Seligman. Man, you guys gotta come out here and on Route 66 and check this place out. So amazing. So photogenic. If you are an Instagrammer, this is gonna be your dream. Seligman Groceries, that is right. Off of Main Street. You definitely check this out because if you kind of look inside of there, this was actually part of the Cars Land that you actually see today from Disney's California Adventure. But right over there on the A is Lightning McQueen himself. This is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing. As well as back over there, they do have the U.S. Marshal. They have the old style buildings. Still a short amount of time to be here, but I wanted to check that out. <sighs> yeah, I love it. I love this place. Amazing. Now, talking to someone in Angel Dagadio's gift shop, they did mention that the movie Cars Land was actually... There was actually two different characters that were Angel Vegadillo. One of them, what do you mean? Lightning McQueen, and also this guy, Doc Hudson. That is right. This, wow, this is the historic Seligman Sundries. Wow, this is amazing. I absolutely love the old style pumps and the old style cars and just how the colors still are so amazing. And Okay, no, 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 sorry. I gotta, mention, I gotta mention one more thing. This is really cool. So this entire town, it's almost like Radiator Springs, but it's actually pretty cool because they have little eyeballs on some of the actually old style cars. <laughs> oh, wow, Seligman, you guys are awesome. So when you guys come down to Seligman, Arizona, definitely come out to the Copper Cart. They have an emporium full of awesome and old style motorcycles. And it's so awesome, so amazing, so. Thank you so much for your hospitality. All right, guys, back on the mother road. I got my passport stamped and I am ready to hit the road. Or we are ready to hit the road. So let's go. So, a quick stop on the road. We actually stopped at Truxton, Arizona because we wanted to check out this old style sign. The Frontier Motel and Restaurant as well. Now this is really cool and iconic. A lot of people come out here, take some awesome fun pics, but also right behind there, which is the Truxton Station. I absolutely am a sucker for old style garages. And man, this is really cool. <laughs> just wanted to jump out here and just showcase that to you guys. So onward to the road, let's go. Wow, so driving down this road is amazing. Just the sights and just seeing the old style, the remnants of the past from the 1930s to the 20s, as well as seeing the old style uh, Chevy cars that are driving by. Absolutely amazing. I urge you guys, yes, I-40 seems like the fastest way to go. But let me tell you, the Route 66 is more better. Truxton, we just passed by. We went by Seligman, Arizona. Uh, we just passed by the Peach City. Wow, you just, you just have to look and it's amazing. <laughs> so, came out here to Hackberry uh, General Store and we had to come out here. 100% 1930s merchandise, 1930 type of signs. And they had live music over there, but also, oh, man, walking around here, she allowed me to go out here and just walk back around. They're doing some kind of construction, but they, these classic cars are, so cool. Now inside their shop is really cool because they actually have the old style uh, Texaco uh, pump. But right now we're gonna go check out if she actually makes converted garage and she's like a museum type. So you can come out here and just check 
out the old style everything there's texaco like little oil motor oil cans there old style ford this is really cool and just old style engines as well too now right behind me you do have the old style washers and dryers as well as the old style pumps there is so much here i love and i need you guys if you guys come out to Route 66, please make sure don't bypass this place. Just come out here. You can definitely get your, your passport stamped here as well too. And they're really nice. Hey mom, I found me a Rambler. <laughs> can I buy it? Next stop is Antares Point for the Gigantus Hiccus. <laughs> now this definitely looks like Squidward's house. <laughs> this guy's... Oh man, it, it, this is huge. This is awesome. Now he has his buddy right behind him. Just protect him from anyone to do some harm from him. Wow, so if you guys are on Route 66 right over here, do not forget to slow down and check that out. That's a must see. <laughs> Wow. So, the creator of the Gigantus Hedicus was not here today, but I did talk to one of the guys here, and what's awesome is that this guy right here is about to turn 18 years old. 18 years. Wow, this is so awesome. I This is why I, I definitely stopped by this shop. They're so awesome here. They're really cool to talk to, and I 100% appreciate their awesome conversations with me, and this is really cool. Look at that. They're getting ready for the caverns or bust. Guys, got to definitely come check this place out. It is amazing. Welcome to Kingman. Now, we are actually checking out the El Travator Motel because they state that they do have a world's longest Route 66 map that we're going to definitely check out. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Pretty sure that is the world's lar longest map I've ever seen. <laughs> there is so much to see, especially that. Look at that is awesome. Wow, that is huge. Now I would love to see the neon light when it actually glows up. All right, onward to the next stop. Let's go. So definitely right there is going to be Cool Springs Station, built in 1920. Man, it's another amazing stop on the back country of Route 66. Now, there was a lot of hustle and bustle inside and we still gotta be on our way home. But I wanted to stop there to showcase to you guys uh, the shield right there on the very bottom was really, really cool was that they have the historic Route 66 little shield on the pavement. Now, time to check out the donkeys. That is right, and check out the Oatman Hotel. Let's go. have made it to Oatman, Arizona. This is gonna be pretty cool. Now this actually was an old mining town, turned now into a Route 66 town. Maybe maybe to get my passport stamp. Look, we found the long time residents, the donkeys. Look at, there they are, feeding away. Hey buddy. I don't think he wants to be on camera. He's like, ah, oh, dude, camera players. He's a bit camera shy. Here is the Oatman Hotel, built in 1902. Now you wouldn't guess it, but Clark Gable and Carol Lombard actually stayed here for their honeymoon and were frequent visitors. Looking at this room, oh, you get a weird feeling 
I felt a little eerie. Also, checking out the, all the antiques, including the oil cans, and they do have some ghost tours as well, too. So, if you guys are next to Oatman or driving through Route 66, come on down to Oatman Hotel because you definitely can check out the honeymoon suite of Carol Lombard and Clark Gable. Wow, this hound is hustling and bustling, but man, if you actually look all the way around, then you definitely can feel a type of mining uh, feel around here, but the current residents are the, uh, uh, are the donkeys in there, and they're everywhere. Oh, man. Real quick, so if you do park in this parking structure itself here, make sure you guys bring in some cash because it's $2 for parking. It was through the honor system, so $2 to park in this parking spot. Put it right over there in the barrel, so yeah. Bring some cash, guys. <laughs> and make sure you get you guys get your stamps for your passports. All right, guys, so that is it for today's awesome Route 66 adventure. I had such an amazing time. My wife and I had met some awesome people along the way, looked at some donkeys, and um, gonna get us a little sun flare. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we are in traffic right now, but due to time constraints, we weren't able to see Roy's over in Amboy. But promise you guys, I will be back. We will be back in Route 66 once again. This time with our little passenger right behind there. Now if you guys like this video, give it a little awesome Route 66 thumbs up. If you guys like my content I bring to you guys, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Hit the post notifications because there's gonna be a lot more adventure videos coming your way. And always share this video with your family and friends. That way you guys are so ready for your next Route 66 adventure. Now we are onward to the next adventure. Let's go.